In this video, I'm gonna give you a detailed explanation of this amazing servo cannon I made, using very cheap, DIY materials. It precisely follows mouse movements and implements them into this servo turret. The combo of the mounted FHD camera and mouse control makes it feel like you're playing a video game, but the gun is in real life. And the best part? This whole thing cost me only around $30 to make. I'll be sharing the source code and the circuit diagram down in the description. So, let's get into the video without further trash talking. This entire system is controlled by a Raspberry Pi 3, Model B, using its GPIO pins which are wired to the setup. The turret itself is controlled by a mouse, physically connected to one of the USB ports on the Pi. I used Python for the entire coding mechanism. It's the most common and beginner-friendly language for Raspberry Pi projects. Here's a list of all the servo motor components I used to make this. Two 180-degree servos for the reload mechanism. One 270-degree for horizontal movement. Another 180-degree for vertical movement. And a Micro 9G servo for the trigger. For the power supply, I fed the 4MG996 servos with around 7.5 volts, using two LM2596 step-down buck converters. One for the reload servos, and one for the horizontal and vertical servos. But why two? Because a single LM2596 might not deliver enough power when all four high-power servos are under load. Both converters receive 12 volts as input. The trigger servo gets its 5V straight from the Pi's built-in 5V pin. I used a mini breadboard power module to combine all the power lines neatly. For the main gun, I used a cheap plastic toy gun, cost me just 60 cents. The two reload servos are positioned to pull the reload slide back fully, loading the bullet into the chamber. A right click on the mouse activates the reload sequence. Then a left click triggers the trigger servo to fire the bullet. Since I don't have a 3D printer, I use screws and nuts to mount the servos, which is why it might look a bit messy or complex. If you have a 3D printer, I highly recommend using a 3D printed mount to reduce mechanical errors and improve stability. Let's break down the turret structure real quick. On one side of the gun is a free bearing, and on the other side, the vertical servo for up slash down movement. This entire vertical assembly is placed on a piece of hard cardboard, which itself is mounted on the 270 degree horizontal servo. This box you see? It's just a 500 gram counterweight, used to balance the system center of mass. Keeping it right above the rotating axis of the horizontal servo. Finally, the horizontal servo and the entire gun system are attached to a cement-filled base, for solid, vibration-free mounting. The combination of the two servos gives it a full range of 0 to 270 degrees horizontal and 0 to 180 degrees vertical movement. Now, let's talk about the camouflage cover. It's actually just 3mm PVC sheet, shaped to fit the cannon's frame. I then applied custom-printed camouflage stickers. Just grabbed a pattern off the internet, printed it on a 4 sized sticker paper. And the look is pretty close to the real thing. There's also an RGB SMD LED module that shows the system status like movement, trigger, etc. In idle mode, it gives off a blue strobe light every 1.5 seconds, just to let you know the code is running. And finally, the fun part. A 2 megapixel full HD USB webcam mounted directly at the gun barrel. When you look at the live feed while controlling the turret with your mouse, it seriously feels like you're playing a real-life first-person shooter. It's wild. So this is it. If you enjoyed this weird but awesome project, and you're into tech builds, Raspberry Pi stuff, or just like watching people make toy guns do crazy things, maybe your mouse should hover over that subscribe button, and left-click it like it's the trigger of this turret. It costs nothing, but boosts me like 12 volts to a servo. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.